Hey Melita, I don't want to scare you, but those bells mean that I'm actually up in the morning on a Sunday. And on the weekends, there are fantastic markets in Puebla. So I am finally up, alert, dressed, and ready to go check them out. Come on. Insanity to even think about trying to shop on an empty stomach. So we're gonna go see the Frenchies. Just dog friendly, which it should be. Same Frenchies, but we'll see. And it is directly across from the cathedral. So I'm hoping that we will be able to get that last table with a view of the cathedral. We got the table, they're dog friendly, and this place is super cool. When I leave, I'll get some footage of it. They brought Merida water, it's all done out in um, like French bulldog style, and it's a really cool place. I really recommend it. Um, I'm recommending it before I even try the food, but I'll let you know how that is too. Look at that. The cathedral is right directly across from it. So you can sit here, have some good food with your puppy who's off hanging around with the staff, waiting to bark at them again. Merida, what are you doing? Okay, now you Hi. Do you like Frenchies? Do you like Frenchies? Say, so, yeah, they brought me water and they let me in without any problems. And I like this place. Señorita, ¿está lista para ordenar? Sí. Okay, so I'm gonna try the Philly cheesesteak, but she said that there's actually a menu for Merida, and Merida's getting a sirloin burger. It was 20 pesos, so let's see if Merida likes her food too. Merida, you're gonna get a cheeseburger. You think that's a good idea? Yeah. That's awesome. They're nice to dogs here. That's so nice to know. So my food got here. And so did Mary. <laughs> so I guess I enjoyed it. Um, so I'd put it like this. I don't think anyone from Philly is gonna be like, yeah, they really captured the flavor of home. But it was definitely delicious and I would order it again. And I still cannot get over this view. One of the things that I love more than anything about living in Mexico is all the historical stuff around me. But I was just sitting here thinking like, imagine the people who built that cathedral 500 years ago. Now imagine telling them, hey, in 500 years, there's going to be a cafe where people who adore their dogs are going to be able to sit and look at this church. And um, I just love that contrast because they would be like, dogs? Nobody worshipped dogs <laughs> in the 1500s. And I don't think that they would be super stoked about it. But too bad for them. That's what it is. And it's beautiful. I mean, I just love sitting here feeling like today is here with a cafe that caters to dogs, but then the past is right there and so alive and making life beautiful 500 years later. Okay, so Merida's sirloin was 30 pesos, not 20. I had two coca lights, 40 pesos, and the Philly cheesesteak was 85. They put this little thing, which I have mixed feelings about. I personally always tip 20% because I can, and I don't think that people should be coming to Mexico thinking that it's okay to um, be cheap with the people serving and 
working for you because they make such little money and if you think about it, so the difference, I'm going to give 20%. So that's another 15 pesos. So that's not even a dollar. And um, I, so I'm leaving them a dollar 50 in total. And even if I ate out every single day, seven days a week, that's like an extra seven bucks at the end of the month maybe i spend 30 in tips so that's 30 dollars to me which isn't make it or break it money to me and it's not necessarily make it or break it money to people working in mexico either but it is a little bit more and i just don't understand why if you're going to be in their country enjoying their service and everything that it has to give, you have to be cheap about a dollar, seriously. Not a good look Americans, but honestly not a good look Canadians or Europeans. So I personally recommend 20% when you're in Mexico. Um, it shows the staff a little bit more respect and a lot of times, um, well let's just say, that it's tough for them to make a living. So, cough up the extra dollar, my fellow Americans. Lecture over, let's look at this place. Puppies, puppies, puppies. I really enjoyed this place. We will definitely be back. Merida, what do you think? You got a new restaurant? Yeah, I like it. Come on. That looks like my puppy Felix and Blossom and any Boston Terrier that anyone ever had ever. I still have a lot of gracias. <laughs> Very cool dog owners. Definitely come to Frenchies if you're in Pueblo. Gracias. I got a heart full of pride. And you can never take the pride away from me. That feeling makes me full of strength. Makes me wanna live and fight for what I am. So yeah, that's Kai Surf and the Los Tapos. Um, I'm all, I'm showing you everything backwards today. I'm showing you the restaurant while I'm leaving. I'm showing you the back of the market. But anyway, the street is super cool. Like there's all sorts of. Uh, vendors and I feel like the buildings get brighter although Pueblo does a really good job of keeping keeping it bright which is what I love about Pueblo um, I really like K Retro but I wanted to paint that city all the time it's too earth tone so this is more my speed with bright colors and happiness <laughs> I got a flame in my heart that never dies I got a heart full of pride I got a flame in my heart that never dies I got a heart full of pride So I got four glasses Two little plastic holders and two shot glasses and two other glasses for 350 pesos, which is $17. So, good deal. And they're really nice. They did a good job on the cup. Like Merida Yucatan? 
if I can go back around to the other side of that market but I've pretty much gotten what I was already looking for and that was my budget of <laughs> tchotchke spending but hopefully nothing else will tempt me <laughs> I'm still gonna go take you guys through here and um yeah hopefully I won't see something that I'm like I have to have it because that was my, that was my budget. What's going on, Mara? I can't find you, there you are. Come on. And so much for me sticking to my budget. He had these old movie posters and I really need them for my bedroom and my hallway. I can't stand blank walls, so yes, I need them. I'll show them to you when I get home. This is awesome. Yeah, this stuff is this is really cool. For sure, if you're in Pablo on the weekend, I would recommend walking down Calle 6 Sur and Avenida 7 Oriente. It was very fun and I got some very cool things. They're ducking to not ruin my video. People say poblanos are especial. I find them to be extremely polite, very nice. The people from everywhere that I've lived, other people say they are especial. And I've always found them to be nice and awesome. All right, we came, we ate, we shopped. It's time to go home. This is the church that's by my house. All right, so here's the stash. I got some movie posters. That's a Frida poster. I'll show you after I get it framed. I got this candle holder, um, two Bacardi glasses. I paid for two others with uh, swans on them that unfortunately were not in the bag, so. Apparently I made a 60 peso donation to this vendor and that's a bummer because she was really nice and I would like to go back but um, I don't know maybe she wrapped them and forgot to put them in the bag but either way I paid for them and they're not here so that sucks. Anyway, um, but my puppies made it and those were the biggest purchase of the day, so that was fun. And the lesson is always check the bag. But yay, I have new treasures. I got a heart full of strength. My strength I'll be with pride, it's keeping me alive. It makes this life a 